What we're finding as, as adults age is that they often fall as a result of decreased lower extremity strength and um, particularly in some of the research we did with patients with Parkinson's disease. So what we're doing here is looking at muscle activation around the hip and trying to determine if, if that, that decrease in strength happens when you're in your 40s and 50s. So that if perhaps it is, we can make changes sooner and prevent falls later. Falls are a big issue in healthcare. They, they take an incredible amount of healthcare dollars. They put a lot of elderly people at risk. And if we can impact and make some changes sooner, it will make a big difference when we get into our 60s and 70s and 80s. We're using surface EMG and um, some motion analysis to look at joint angles and lower extremity activation. Why they're also doing um, a test called the community balance measure, which looks at balance um, for people anywhere between their 20s and to 70s. Everybody in each cohort has to participate in um, faculty-directed research. So we have the opportunity to pick an interest uh, based off of what the faculty are interested in at that point, what they already have going. So we get a list and I was interested in going into um, neuroscience, neurological patients. So this was um, the most ideal topic for me. We're using electrodes on participants and we can see what muscles they're using during the test. So as a student, it really helps to see like which muscles are activating the most rather than just hearing about it in lecture. So research is important because it gives us a better idea of what we're actually working with. Um, so like we read about and study the, all the muscles, but it's different once you're actually um, being hands-on and dealing with actual participants.